all the factors of our number and there was a value given p abstraction that to explain more and to explain more with that examples how do we achieve that as abstraction same concept of java we all know green question was to uh, some problem you sockets uh, they had a very good discussion on the sockets how this uh, concept and the difference between concept asking about the apis as well <laughs>
told the naive approach and they asked me to code it in the editor so i like i sold first i sold the naive approach and sold the output as well then they asked me to optimize it then i used the hash approach then uh, like hash map and then uh, later on they asked me to return the index so i it, they did that part very easily and they were also quite impressed like i was able to code it very easily so yeah they were impressed then uh, then they started asking question on os operating system semaphores mu text and then uh, these things uh, you sockets huh? they had a very good discussions on the sockets how this socket things is working in the operating systems and then they asked me the networking questions like osi layers all the layers then the flow then they asked me differences between IV, ipv4 ipv6 and then after networking things got over they started me asking the sql thing yeah I, sql queries uh truncate and delete query and the difference between truncate and delete in sql this was the question related to sql and then uh then then the first guy was uh, like over with this question but the other one she asked me uh, again i started asking me about javascript so in that she asked me about uh, the uh, pass by reference and pass by function thing in javascript and yeah uh, this was like done but no no one thing was uh, left like they then then they went through my project and they started asking me like uh, what have could have been done in this project to make this approach better related to the back end stuff of my project because i already told them that i am good at the backing part of it because my sql was good my uh, my concept related to back end was good so then they started me asking about the apis as well and then yeah that's all that's it i guess yeah this was done the interview was done they were i asked for the feedback as well they they told me that i really like your confidence and all yeah this was the feedback and then i uh, then they told me to wait for the second next round so i waited for at least i guess 20 to 40 minutes then i came to know that my second round is there at uh, the same day after half an hour so it was a managerial round it was taken by the my manager itself so i was really like scared like uh, what will they ask like in projects and all but that round basically they it was a more kind kind of a informative round where they the manager started to explain me what i am going to do at ibm what our project what an orchestrate is what it does what uh, solution it gives to the market he also asked me about my projects uh, just uh, just asked me to explain all the project which i did and also one intensive which i did so that's all that's it it was the all process involved For, for me to crack this opportunity at IBM ISL Kochi and IBM Watson and Orchestra T. So the result came after five to six days. I was selected as an intern, not as a full time. So six guys were selected for the interview. Out of them, two were selected as a full time employee and two were selected as an intern. So later on, after my internship, I was converted. I am converted as a full time employee as well. So. for that i will make a separate videos where i will uh, share the experience of internship at ibm which i would say is the best thing happened to me till date so yeah that's it that's it if you ask me about the preparation so i would say for any on campus placement as a placement coordinator since i was a placement coordinator as well so you should what you should do is you should be like uh, very clear with the dsa concepts dsa you must have done the stiver set to crack any on, on campus opportunity the maximum dsa that they are going to ask in the interviews that won't go far from that dsa set then uh, for the online rounds you need to solve more than one question either on the lead code or if you really want to crack good companies uh, that to on, on off campus as well so you should be doing good competitive coding either on code forces code safe any or on lit code also there are many concept contest happening on lit code so i also appeared for all of this in my preparations and then uh, dsa part is done so you should be very good at javascript i so, say uh, every interview touch this part javascript and sql this is quite i have seen in uh, almost all the companies they have touched this part sql javascript Uh, this kind of thing and computer fundamental that is the most important thing like this can save you from any kind of situation because 
the interviewer is going to judge you on what you know that not on the thing that you don't know so they expect you to at least know everything about the computer fundamentals that is the case so yeah think i'm done for this video if you guys really like my work so please like and subscribe my channel and wait for the next videos we'll meet you in the next videos till then bye